Okay, good evening, partners. Welcome to an update. It's about 6.45 on Tuesday, August 29th. I'm going to give you a quick update on the latest expectations for Hurricane Idalia as it moves northward towards the Columbia forecast area. Currently, it's about 300 miles south of Tallahassee, Florida, with sustained winds of 100 miles per hour and a central pressure of 972 millibars. Um, aviation aircraft is in there investigating, looking into whether it's strengthening or not, but the satellite appearance over the past couple hours has suggested that it is intensifying as forecast. So here's the latest forecast. The forecast track has actually shifted a bit west, which has placed our forecast area under a bit more of a threat, especially for heavy rainfall. But the westward shift has actually led to us including Burke, Bamberg, Barnwell, all of Orangeburg, Calhoun, and Sumter in the already issued tropical storm watch for the southeastern Midlands. So we may upgrade that as we get higher confidence and get closer to the storm, but right now these or these are the counties that are included in the tropical storm watch. Despite the westward track, the the further westward trends with this track. The greatest threats for this system are still heavy rainfall across the forecast area, generally expecting four to eight inches of rain from Hurricane Idalia as it moves into the forecast area, with the heaviest rain being in the central Midlands, the southeastern Midlands, and the central and southern CSRA. Now, because this is a relatively small storm, any shift east or west could shift this heaviest rainfall axis, but generally we're expecting widespread heavy rainfall across the forecast area. Given that we have had a lot of rainfall over the past week or two with widespread thunderstorms, we've issued a flood watch to cover this, and we're expecting flash flooding to be uh, possible to likely across the area tomorrow. WPC has issued a moderate risk for excessive rainfall on Wednesday, and we expect widespread heavy rainfall to overspread the area during the day on Wednesday and last through Wednesday night with the heaviest rainfall occurring Wednesday evening and Wednesday night as Hurricane Idalia makes its closest pass to us. Now we still have a threat for some strong winds. They don't look to be any, any much higher than 35 to 40 miles per hour, but the highest gust could exceed 35 to 40 miles per hour across the forecast area. The track of Idalia shifting west does give us a little bit higher of a tornado threat as it places us on the favor the favored eastern side of the, the track. So we'll have to keep an eye on that if it continues to shift westward. That may put more of our forecast area in a threat for tornadoes tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. But right now, the Storm Prediction Center has placed the southeastern Midlands in a slight risk, which gives us the potential for a few to several tornadoes. So that's another thing we'll have to keep an eye on. But in general, to summarize, Hurricane Idalia is strengthening over the Gulf. The forecast to make landfall tomorrow morning in the Big Bend of Florida and push northward towards the forecast area tomorrow afternoon and night. Widespread heavy rainfall with values of four to eight inches across the area, it's, it's expected. And that should bring about flash flooding issues, especially in flood prone areas. So just keep an eye on the weather and we'll have more tonight and tomorrow morning. Thank you very much.